Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your favorite principal, Dr. McGee, here with the word of the day. And the word of the day today is passive. 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 So passive just usually means um, accepting or allowing what happens or what others do without an active response. Without an active response or resistance. Allowing what others do or what happens without an active response or resistance. So when you look at the word passive, on the front end, it looks like a very, very uh, submissive uh, or not so strong word, right? It looks like a, a word that's defeating, right? Passive. Um, you know, when you hear the word passive, you think of people who uh, get run over by circumstances, get run over by people, get dominated by others because they're passive. Passive can also be a powerful word if you leverage it in the right way. There are a lot of people who are hotheads. There are a lot of people who are very, uh, very demanding and aggressive. And they turn people off. They can get results by being aggressive, but they can also damage relationships. Same thing with passive. Passive has that 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 that, that equilibrium piece, that continuum piece, where if you know how to leverage and you understand passive to a deep in a deep manner, you can leverage being passive as a strength and not a weakness. Being passive allows you to take in chaotic situations. You take it in. And now you have the ability to, to discern through wisdom what should happen next. What you should do next. How things are going to play out next with a calm mind. Some people can't handle chaos. Some people can't handle it when uh, entropy is abound. So those who operate from a standpoint of being passive, you can allow things to happen without being affected emotionally. You see the power in that? It doesn't have to be a thing where you're so nonchalant, you're so unemotional, you don't push, have any resistance to anything. That's one way to look at it. There's power in the fact that you can be passive and meek. And you leverage that to the best of your ability to get the results when things are not in control. Because guess what? Sometimes things are in control. Some things are not in control. Sometimes you're not in a storm. Sometimes you're in the middle of a storm. So being passive allows you to be able to have the space to be able to be wise in the decisions that you make based on the environment around you. So don't think about being passive as a negative thing. Use it as a super strength and use it as a power word and use it. If that's how you're wired, use it. If you're a teacher, if you're a parent and you're passive, make passive powerful for you. This is Dr. McGee saying a word changes the meaning, it changes the mood, and it changes the motivation. I love you. Let's make it a great day.